please agree with me in prayer regarding celibacy, celibate priesthood. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Father, hear our prayer. Lord in heaven, we ask that you would guide us to the truth and deliver us from the evils. Those who took rights of marriage away with the Roman institution and did not care about the women of this world, how it's overpopulated, they didn't care how cruel people were to any. They had no love for the women, the clergies. They don't really stay celibate, many. They swear their vow of celibacy. That's against your gospel. This is not to take the right to marry away. Paul said he had the right to marry. He just didn't have time. It wasn't something he had to vow about. It, but he didn't have time, Father. Because he was working, starting the church, there's no Christians in the world. And they can't pretend without making a heresy. They're hypocrite. They, they do have sex with, they do rapes. And then they get really cruel and evil. And, and pedophilia happens. Gay sex. And even straight men. Their heart is that corrupt. And they stand and perform the sacraments in these robes. Oh, we just pray, God, that you would deliver us from the celibate. Deliver me from celibacy. I've never swore a vow. Deliver me. Deliver everyone. I'm honoring those men by believing that they had as great of virtue. But it wasn't anything other than the institution forcing them to not marry. That, as far as we know, it wasn't their faith. It wasn't that they just didn't have time. They're fat men. They're lazy. They don't go work. They don't do you know, all kinds of miracles. Like the apostles. You know, Jesus had companions. Seven. A demon-possessed women, even. In the name of your Holy Son, we pray, God, we just pray right now that your will regarding these celibate laws of the church and rules that they made and vows that they pretend they can pray. We just pray, God, that we vow for our heart to be as chaste, whether we're celibate or not, because of the love of God in us. And that we don't become these sexual vessels of pleasure the same way the world does but still have a marriage companionship with faith and love and truth and can socialize and have friends without being perverse and adulterous there's so many women there's so many men in this world God so many children. Let us not pretend that we're not sexually involved with anyone and say we're celibate, like the priests. I don't know if they love anyone. We just pray that we will not Consider it sin to be married. Mary was married. They almost worship her. We don't know what they believe. But it seems like it says that Mary was conceiving kids. Jesus had brothers and sisters. His don't agree because they got these celibate vows going so they try to reason out how that's not possible. We don't know God. We weren't there. In Jesus name Father in heaven all we know is that they're so evil corrupt and maybe a Luciferian Lucifer's disciples pretending to be holy men 
God, leaders of our church, authorities over us, like the devil is an authority. Release us, God, in whatever dominion that is. Your glory, no more of these people claim we have to swear vows, celibate vows, to be bishops. It says a bishop can marry right in the Bible, right in front of their eyes. Who would honor Rome? Who would honor these gay men? It's got to be homosexuality that they're after. It's all. They're so fat and gay. They dress up like sorcerers and witches. These pointy black hats that look like executioner and sorcerer hats. Father, and deliver us from those people. Deliver us from anybody who believes that's okay. There's not anybody who can't reason out that that is just totally wrong. In the name of your Holy Son, Yeshua, we pray, amen.